This is Field Sports Channel News. Black Panthers are prowling the British countryside. That's the conclusion of scientists who DNA tested strands of hair found on a farm. They took black hair recovered after what locals describe as unusual predatory activity. Video footage taken a few miles away shows a large black animal. Documentary makers Dragonfly Films, which had been investigating sightings across the UK, say the test has now come back positive and confirmed the existence of black panthers and other big cats living in the UK. There are sightings and a lot of them. It's estimated that there's 2,000 a year, the majority of which are of a black leopard type cat, like a panther. And these are regular and consistent, although a lot of the evidence that we see in the papers is quite laughable with images of what are clearly uh, domestic cats. The Chief Constable of Devon and Cornwall Police is promising an in-depth review of gun owners across the region after the Plymouth shootings. Will Kerr says he wants to be sure there is no further risk to the public after police made mistakes in allowing Keyham killer Jake Davison to own a shotgun. In a letter to the Plymouth coroner, Mr Kerr committed to a further review of all the times a gun in Devon, Cornwall and Dorset is revoked, seized or surrendered by the police and then a certificate is regranted to its owner, which is what happened in the Keyham case in 2021. He says the review will go back five years to 2018. I think it's very difficult to see what this is going to achieve that hasn't already been identified. And, and obviously the concern as well is that the department is under an awful lot of pressure um, and that such a review again takes them away from the day-to-day -day work. Scottish Gamekeepers and National Trust Scotland are clashing over a controversial survey. The Scottish Gamekeepers Association reveals that nearly 80% of the local community oppose an out-of-season deer cull in Glencoe. National Trust Scotland contractors have shot more than 220 deer, mostly stags, since September, including 41 shot at night. Nature Scott granted the NTS a special licence to protect tree regeneration without the need for fencing. The charity claims that at every stage of planning the increased deer cull at the Nature Reserve, it has been transparent and collaborative with the local community in Glencoe and Glenetiv. There was an understanding within the community that people's livelihoods would definitely be put at risk if this was to continue on an annual basis. And there was real concern about that, particularly because it's, it's such a small and fragile community. A British charity has delivered over 10,000 venison meals to civilians and soldiers in Ukraine. The Country Food Trust is feeding people on the front line in the war against Russia. Volunteers from an organisation called Mighty Convoy drove four former ambulances to the country. The food charity, which is based in Gloucester and also supplies the food pouches to food banks in the UK, filled them with the venison bolognese meals. The Trust also sent more than 25,000 venison ragu and pasta meals to the country in April 2022. Almost a thousand scientists and experts have united behind a statement that says meat is crucial for human health. They reject extreme views around plant-based diets and promote livestock farming. The academics from universities across the world have signed the initiative which says that livestock farming is too important to become the victim of zealotry. Publishing in the academic journal Animal Frontiers, scientists say unprocessed meat is responsible for providing a range of essential vitamins including B12, omega-3 fatty acids and minerals such as iron and zinc. The paper suggested that the link between red meat and disease was almost eradicated when it was combined with a healthy diet. Staying with meaty issues and TV presenter and adventurer Bear Grylls says he's now embarrassed about previously promoting a vegan lifestyle. He says he was wrong for thinking it was good for the environment. Grylls swapped his vegan diet and now eats red meat and no vegetables. He is a spokesperson for beef organ supplements, even though he previously wrote a vegan cookbook. He says for the last two years he's been avoiding processed food, bread, pasta and even vegetables. He says he's never felt stronger and, crucially for an adventurer and all-round hard man, his skin has never felt better. Australia needs more kangaroo shooters. That's the call from the Kangaroo Industry Association of Australia, President Ray Border. He told the Beef Central website that the boom-bust nature of kangaroo populations means the animals are about to see a new boom in numbers. He adds that prices for kangaroo meat are currently high. Thanks to Nigel White for the story. Locals have killed six lions after the pride attacked livestock in a Kenyan village. 
Up to 80 herders armed with spears tracked down the lions and killed six of them. The killing took place at the headquarters of the anti-hunting Big Life Foundation within a private conservancy bordering the Amboseli Park. Big Life, which counts a brother of the Duke of Bedford and a West London carpet salesman amongst its trustees, had previously tried to persuade local Maasai to give up lion hunting in favour of athletics. And finally, feeling flush? Fancy supporting conservation science and maybe winning a unique shooting experience? Well, the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust is holding a series of shoot raffles across England. Among them, the Devon High 4 Shoot Raffle is offering 250 tickets at £200 each to win a day consisting of four drives at some of Devon's top shoots. Deadline for tickets is 30th of June 2023. Link below. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.